what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash and yes my name is ash i go by ash on social media that is my name i prefer ash because it is short for my full name but a lot of people misspell my name so i prefer to be called ash you know you you guys just don't know how many comments i get like people just calling me anything other than my name and it's so weird i'm like ash but yet people want to spell my name out and do all this i'm like just please please call me ash anyways you guys i wanted to get on camera and talk to you guys because i've been wanting to film a video for a long time like i ordered something from bath and body works you know they had like a 5.95 body care day whatever it was and i posted on my story on instagram and if you don't follow me on instagram it is at ash220 underscore they um sent me this email and it is like your order is about to ship and i'm so confused now my phone this is it it literally says your order is about to ship just today and i ordered from like way last week so many people have gotten their orders i ordered all the new brand new body care most of the ones that i knew i would like and i still don't have it yet that's why i haven't made that video for you guys yet so I, there's nothing i can really do i don't want to go in store buy them and do all them no, no no we're not gonna do that we're gonna wait um and you guys hopefully you'll still be here when i do get the package but they're taking a little minute to ship to me and it's been a little bit of an inconvenience because i've been so ready to like give you guys my opinions on some of the new scents and just give you guys like a cool little haul with all their new winter stuff because it is now november 3rd today no i'm, I'm tripping oh my gosh i was about to say the month is going fast and here i am already jumping it's november 6th second tuesday november 2nd and this is my favorite time like thanksgiving christmas is coming up like we in there okay so that's your little update with that because so that is coming soon you will get a video with all the new winter stuff in my opinions on that stuff so i have no idea what i want to talk to you guys about today you'll obviously see what the title of the video is but i am going to show you some of the candles that i bought from their little single wick candle day which was like not candle day but it was like a single wig 595 sale so let me show you just the few that i got and i feel like i did so well like i did not spend that much money and i am so proud of myself okay so i lowered the camera and i'm going to show you the few that i got so i got this one this is the snow place like home i like it it does smell i've been really into like these more masculine scents where i feel like they kind of make the room smell a lot better um and they are kind of like I feel like they project a lot more so i'm gonna probably pick up ma mahogany teakwood i think my cousin picked that candle up and i've been like dang like i think i want to get it because i do feel like they just smell stronger in the home so i got this one snow place like home falling flurries i don't think these candles have the notes on them so that's kind of annoying but this is what it looks like it's very very cute i told you guys in one of my last vlogs i was really debating on whether or not i wanted to start decorating for christmas comment below if you guys have started decorating for christmas it is now november 2nd so you might have started doing your christmas decorating or are you like more of like a thanksgiving decorator if that makes sense or are you like an after thanksgiving decorator i'd love to hear that in the comments so merry cookie i was actually waiting for this sale so that i can pick up merry cookie i have merry cookie in the big three wick candle i don't know where it is now so i don't know i try to search for it but merry cookie is one of my favorite candles from bath and body works what i have to tell you guys though straight up i don't feel like these three wicks project well at all like i lit one i'm gonna show you in a minute um and i didn't smell it at all yesterday and and I'm kind of disappointed with that on cold they smell good if you know any candles that do smell really strong and that are single wicks that I'm, I'm gonna smell it guaranteed please let me know because um I'm not impressed with my three wicks though they really do well so I did pick up Mary cookie this candle is very nice I really like it not in the single wick I haven't burned it in the single wick yet so I'm not gonna tell you whether I'm disappointed or not but in a three wick that was one of the best candles I've ever had. Um, the whole house was smelling good. Okay, so if you get a chance, pick up Merry Cookie in the three wick this holiday season. You will not regret it. So Merry Cookie, I got two. I had to get it. I might just keep one for collection purposes and the other one I will burn just to see if it gives me the vibes. I love the little gingerbread man that is on the front. I love the packaging. They really did well with that and if i had known i'd love mary cookie so much i would never have burned it so fast when it came down to like 
last year i think or two years ago when i really loved it i just i didn't understand back then i got frozen lake i don't know this one kind of just is more masculine to me and it just um smells good so i picked up frozen lake and i'm not gonna pick up too many more um single wick candles because again like i said i don't feel like they project that well but um yeah and guys i went too crazy with these like coffee candles and now i have no place for them and don't mind this like random belt i don't even know what i'm gonna do with that i don't know what to do with these candles and dw home candles as much as like i like them because of their variety and like how easy they are to purchase and like affordable they are they tunnel so fast if you have any of these they have been tunneling i haven't burned these yet but they tunnel like crazy and um the bigger ones though like this right like i talked to you guys about this recently um in a few other videos this is my favorite one from dw home this one actually projects well it smells good it's great uh and i didn't really care for this one if it was tunneling so i was happy i just i love this candle but everything else tunnels and I don't like that i want a nice clean burn that's like my only uh bone to pick with dw home candles um for the last little single wick candle i'm gonna show you right now this is it right here i went ahead and picked up peppermint sugar cookie uh this one doesn't have any type of projection i didn't smell it nothing but it is so cute so i am gonna purchase it in a big three wick candle hopefully um candle day is soon or something like that and I got these earrings from TJ Maxx in case anyone asks. I'm hoping this is available for candle day so that when candle day comes around, I can get it in a three wig because I believe this is going to smell so good in the house. But this little single wig has no power whatsoever. Um, but I think the packaging is very beautiful. And it is starting to tunnel a little bit. It, the burn isn't that clean. But um, I'm still going to give her a chance because I did just start to burn this last night. So we shall see. If you have been an avid watcher of my channel for quite a long time, you would see that my body care closet is so different. This is kind of what it looks like. I've been trying to renovate my closet and I'm trying to find a place for these. Let me take this out because this is the rack now. And if I have anything, if you go ahead and check out some of my older videos, you'll see the difference in this shelf. This shelf here only used to house all of my fragrance mists and I've completely downsized. There's not even that many fragrance mists to fit this bottom shelf here. Like it's not even full. And that's just Victoria's Secret and Pink. Then I have these. These are the only Bath and Body Works fragrance mist that I have. I don't know why this one is just on the top like that. There we go. This is the only um, Bath and Body Works fragrance mist that I have left. And I used to have this entire top and bottom filled with these fragrance mists. And on top here, I have my lotions. And I don't know why white t-shirt. I'm almost done with it. That's why I'm kind of like keeping it on top. But these are the Bath and Body Works lotions that I plan on keeping. Um, and I'm still downsizing this right here. And this whole closet used to be body care. Like the whole thing. And now we just have this like one side. This box here is just candles that I'm having in here that I'm going to still, you know, continue to burn. Now in here, I just move these shelves over. And you can see my wax melts are like piling up. I need to start using more. Um, I've just gotten out of the routine for a minute. And then I have over here some of my body creams. This is it though. I've really downsized. I don't have many Bath and Body Works body creams anymore. I actually decided not to collect those anymore. Um, so I only have a few. I have Beachfront Blanket, which is dope. Cotton Blossom, Black Amethyst, this Soak in the Sun body cream. And um, oh, that's pretty much it. I have a You're the One all the way back there. But the rest are Victoria's Secret uh lotions and stuff like that and on top of here since i got this from bath and body works i haven't had any room for them but really this thing is pretty organized until all this stuff piled on top but when you look it's just um some of my body these are mostly my travel size items i used to have a lot more of these and now it's just this little section i haven't been traveling much lately so this is really what it's come down to i have this little mary cookie from last year and um, these are really my travel size stuff. And on top here, I did decide to put just a little bit of my mini fragrance mist. And that's really what's up here. Now, down here, it's my little storage stuff. Like, little stuff that I 
these are just little stuff that I use here and there, but again, it's just extra storage and that's really it for the whole closet. So you might ask, what happened? What's going on? Like, I am gonna be so freaking honest with you guys. Somebody even asked me, like, you know, like I noticed you only use like perfumes as your scent of the day and like higher end things and I don't know what it is. I just gravitate towards my perfumes and my body butters a lot. Like the past few nights when I get out the shower and I'm feeling my best, I've been putting on my Fenty Skin Butter Drop. I've been using body butters and not from Bath and Body Works. As much as I love Bath and Body Works and like one, they've been coming out with stuff a little too fast for your girl. Like it's it's i don't need to buy all that stuff all the time and as much as i love shopping um you're not gonna see a shop with me video unless i'm legit shopping or going out to the stores and i've been really really focusing on my fitness and my you know workout regimen and just trying to get in the best shape of my life and i haven't been going to the store like when i feel like okay i need something to do i go to the gym and i haven't been shopping as much now lotions I decided today was the day I was going to use a Bath & Body Works lotion. Um, I was going to show it to you. I used Magic in the Air today. So this is the lotion I decided to use. I picked it up because I was like, you know what? Let me use one of my Bath & Body Works lotions. It's fresh. It's nice. It's cool. But I don't know why I just haven't been. And if you've been feeling the same way as I have, because I've spoken to like a lot of people in my personal life, and they're like, they just haven't been using this stuff. And that's the thing. Like, I don't want to have things around me that I don't use. Um, when it comes to a fragrance mist, I noticed that I'm only picking up a fragrance mist when I'm running to the gym, and I'm like, oh, let me like use this because I don't see the point in me using an expensive perfume to go to the gym and work out. But I I'm still gonna smell good when I work out. That's just me. Like, I just have to do that. But I really like Magic in the Air. It has almond flower, sparkling persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. I don't really even smell it on my skin anymore, and I just put it on not too long ago. And then I went ahead and used this. I know they're two different, like, scent families, but I don't know. I wanted to wear my Very Good Girl perfume, and I'm happy with that. So, I don't know. I actually have picked this out today to use things change over time and that's how i am i'm a changing person i talked about this videos back like i used to collect a lot of things in my life and i'm still an avid collector of so many different things it changes so much like once i'm in love with something i'm all in and then when i'm not in love with it it's like what happened to it you know and even with bath and body works every new scent that comes out i'm not gonna buy it just to buy it i'm not doing that because i've noticed that i'm just not gonna be happy having things that i don't use i love to see things as much as i don't do product empties i really love to see things be done because it shows progress right there has to be some sort of progress and i don't want to just hold on to things hold on to things and then you accumulate all these things and then everything's cluttered your mind is cluttered and that's one thing that i don't like to feel cluttered i don't want to feel cluttered in my environment in my brain in my mind i'm with myself 24 7 and i want to feel free so when i feel like my brain is cluttered my mind i can't think freely i can't be free then there's a problem and we gotta nip that in the butt and get that in control and that's what i do with my body care collection so if you ask what happened a lot of it went to donation a lot of things were sold and a lot of things were just given away and i'm really excited about what you know my minimalist journey will be and that's gonna take a long time to get there okay but that's what i want like i want a space where nothing's like out like i don't want to see anything like i really like that and that's just who i am um becoming just like i don't want to see it like i've even pushed this to the corner of the closet like when you come and look at the closet head on like like this you can't really see it like that and i don't want to see all that stuff but Am I still gonna buy Bath and Body Works stuff? Of course. Um, just stuff that I really love. And these are the things that I feel like I love and like I couldn't get rid of just yet. But I will be downsizing those things too. So if you've been feeling like, dang, like I haven't touched my stuff in a while, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, because I've just noticed it. Like it's just happened. Like I just found different things that I love. And then you could see that in the videos. Like I'll share certain things with you guys that I love. And um, that's just what it's been. Like I love me some Coco shit no oh and it's not even about like even it's not even about like affordability right like i love it if i love it i love it it don't matter if it's expensive if it's cheap i love it like and i can't i can't not love the things that i love and 
my Bath and Body Works stuff has just been, I feel like though, for the holidays, I will be bringing out this. This is definitely in the forefront uh, of lotion for the holiday season. Christmas cookies is just a great scent overall from Bath and Body Works. I'm just obsessed with this scent. Um, I haven't worn it yet because I just, it's a vibe. Body care is such a mood. You have to be in a mood. And that's why I think people like me have such big perfume collections. Because, I mean, let's be real. My mood is different every day. Like, I have a different vibe, different mood. It just depends on the day. So, if I wake up and I'm in like a boss girl mood, I might wear a different fragrance that's going to literally represent that mood that I'm in. So, Christmas cookies is like chill family vibes. Oh, I love this scent. I will continue to buy this one. So, it has creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. I'm obsessed. That is good. So, that's what happened. My body care collection is downsizing, you guys. And... It's just showing growth and I really want to make a video. Let me know if you guys want to see it. Um, I'm probably going to do like 10 things I cannot live without. Like if everything had to go today, what are 10 things that I would keep in my collection? So that will probably be one of the new videos that I come out with. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to share that with you. Anyways so y'all, I'm hungry and um, I need to eat. I have been, I don't know if y'all can tell. Let me see, maybe I'll back up the camera. So, I've been feeling really good. Let me, I'm short, you guys. If you guys didn't know, I'm very short. I'm five, but two. This is my body today. I do this like all the time to um, track like my progress. And like, when I told you guys, when I was like 20 pounds heavier, I would have a pudge in my stomach like every day. These shorts are actually pretty like small. So the fact that I fit them and they're still room and this is like a bodysuit that i feel like i got at forever 21 i'm feeling better but i still have ways to go but i had tea this morning and i'm hungry now and um i need to eat i'm probably just gonna have eggs and salmon like i always do for breakfast i'm really trying to cut weight today so i'm gonna try to have eggs and salmon for breakfast and then i'm just gonna have like a really simple dinner probably like shrimp with some kale or some broccoli that i have in the fridge and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm eating for breakfast when it's done All right, so this is what I put on top of my eggs. Don't mind this, my dad is talking to somebody, but this is a smoked salmon from Trader Joe's. I love this and I wish I knew about it sooner. Uh, I just put this on my eggs because I don't really like the eggs by itself. Um, and this is like five bucks at Trader Joe's and they last so long. So you should try it out, especially if you're on the type of diet that I'm on. This is basically what my breakfast is gonna be today, especially since I am like trying to cut weight. Um, and this is it, like just some salmon. It's just a high protein breakfast. Scrambled eggs with some veggies and yeah, that's it. You guys, I just finished eating my little breakfast, but I'm gonna show you guys a TikTok that is like so funny. Like it really just brought me back to high school days and all of that. I'm gonna just put in the clip right now. It is so funny to me, like, because of the accuracy of how teachers used to be in school. I was not a fan of school when I was in school. Like, the teachers were so mean sometimes for no reason. But this this really had me done. If you've been on my Instagram, you probably already saw it, but if you didn't, check it out. Yeah, I know. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what Oh, happened. excuse me. Oh. Now, there shouldn't be any talking in this room right now. Your teacher left the room to use the bathroom for two minutes, and you all are in here acting like wild animals. That's not gonna fly around me when I'm here. <laughs> okay? You, what's your name back there? Josh. Josh, you better put the phone away or it goes to the dean. Man. Now be lucky this is not my classroom, because everything you all are doing in here will not fly around me. And my class. You better type it down and do the assignment on Ooh. the board, or we're gonna have Bro, problems. I can't even imagine having a teacher like him. You all know better than this. When the teacher leaves, you be quiet and do whatever she tells you. Uh-uh, no, that's not gonna fly around me. Nope, out. I'm gonna let your teacher know about this one. 
All right, so you guys, after that was funny. I wanted to show you some of the packages that I got that um, I thought you guys would be interested in. I got some stuff from this company. I think it's a bot, a bot or something. <sighs> this is the package they sent me, and I'm gonna show you guys. So I got this suede sandalwood and tonka bean perfume. This is the box. Oh boy, oh my gosh, I'm tripping. This is a candle. So, I, I think they did send me a perfume, so I'm gonna show you that in a second. But this is the suede sandalwood candle. This one's really nice. I'm gonna actually do like a TikTok video with their stuff, so if you don't follow me on TikTok, you can check it out there. Um, they actually reached out to me and just sent these things over and asked me if I wanted to share. So, they're clean and conscious. Um, this one is the so Sequoia. I can barely pronounce it. This smoky incense setter and um, cedar wood and sandalwood. Okay, so this is the fragrance. Ooh, look at this! Is it on a parfum? You can see it right here. Oh, this is so pretty. Let me know if you guys have heard of this brand before. Let's see if I like it. Mmm, this smells really nice. I love that. Oh, what was it again? What was it again? Oh, sandalwood. I love sandalwood in a fragrance, so I'm excited about that. And I wish my camera would stay up a little more. And then they also sent me this exploration kit. So I, I don't think I can open it the way I want to without everything falling out. So there's like a whole bunch of like their fragrances that I can try. And um, now I can see like which ones I like. And there's a whole bunch of them. This is so dope. So I'm able to see all of those. And um, yeah, so it comes with the Big Sky, Mojave. They have a lot of stuff that I cannot even pronounce, okay? But I'm excited, so I wanted to show you guys that. So this is the expiration kit. Then you got the fragrance, and that's so cool. I love me a candle, so that was really nice. So I believe their company is called Abot, Abot New York City. So I'll probably link them down below so you guys can check them out. Um, Ooh, and this one's really good. And I also got a package from Bang Cookies. They sent me these amazing cookies. If you guys want to check out Bang Cookies, you should. Um, their cookies are so dope. I actually can't have the cookies right now specifically. I did have a little taste and they're so soft and yummy. But I had to be like, no, it's okay. But I'm going to treat myself for sure once I hit my weight loss goal. But I want to show you the cookies. But my mom, literally, I think she took them. Oh my gosh. I hope she didn't take them to work with her because she loves the cookies. And my dad was literally eating all of them. I think she took them. But I'm going to put a insert of the cookies. I actually posted them on my Instagram stories so that um, the people on Instagram probably saw it first. But yes, those were the cookies. Yes, I think my mom took them to work. She took our cookies, y'all. But anyways, I think I'm going to head over to the mall. I want to go buy a new bag because I don't have any bags that match my clothes. Like, I feel like I don't have, like, I want a white bag. I ordered a white Telfar bag with their bag security program. But I actually am not getting that bag until, like, March. And that's really annoying because I want it now. But anyways, I wanted my Telfar bag. So I got, like, a brown, like, a beige bag. And I got a white bag. So I just need one now, though, because I wear a lot of white. And I want to just go to the mall. So I might show you guys a little bit of what's in the mall. If I see anything that catches my eye. And if anything, I'll see you guys later. Oh, and I found this uh, wallflower. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. It's thanks and giving. So I'm going to probably use this right now. like, Or maybe mm, later into November. But I'm very excited because um, I didn't even remember that I had this one. What's going on, guys? It's been about an hour. And I'm trying to put my bag on. I'm struggling. Oh, I actually am in Miami now. So I'm close to the mall that I am planning on going to. And I found a TJ Maxx on the way. This is a very different TJ Maxx because I've never seen it before. And I'm just going to see what it's like. I've never been to TJ Maxx or Marshalls in Miami area. So we're just going to check it out. These cars are driving real crazy today though. But this is it. And we're going to go inside. I'm just going to take you guys inside with me so we can see whatever is in there we got a whole bunch of perfume here but honestly these are stuff that i always see we got ariana grande got some dolce and gabbana 
nothing too special that i haven't seen before look at this toka kit right here this actually looks really dope um we have the lovely fragrance but a lot of these i've seen before so not too surprised have a whole nother side right here this is pretty interesting um oh these are the juice fragrances that i think i talked about in one of my other videos they have plenty oh they have the gold one too i might have to get that one what the heck that one's extra concentrated i wonder what the um scent notes on it are that's interesting this one seems a little better um they have these but these are terrible don't even buy them <laughs> and we have this side there's some gift sets here what comes in this one it's a toka gift set we got a hand cream and a perfume pink sugar got amazing grease here $31.99. This one's so up. See if there's any holiday lip balms. This comes with a little body lotion. Festive Kiss Trio. Ooh, hold on. We got the Warm Collection. look what i just found in the clearance section a whole bath and body works body cream 13 dollars is ridiculous though no but this is so cool a whole bath and body works body cream in here but i wonder why it's so expensive because this is like regular freaking price let me see if it's open sometimes they're already open too so yeah this is kind of crazy but yeah i won't be getting it guys <laughs> because i'm not buying that for 13 bucks that's kind of insane zara's winter line oh my gosh the browns oh my gosh oh my gosh you guys have to come check out zara oh these it's not even super packed in here today. I'm obsessed with the colors. I think I might start shopping right now, buy everything, oh my gosh. It's the fact that I recorded this already and then the footage just like dismantled itself and I'm like, you guys don't understand. Like before I got back on the camera, I'm like, I don't wanna do it. I don't even wanna talk anymore because I said what I said and I didn't wanna say it again because like, I, you know when you say something the first time, it never comes out right the second time because it was like authentically what i was saying but anyways i'm gonna say it again <laughs> because i want to tell you guys what the heck i just said so um as you guys saw i went to zara i went to the mall so it was really a lot going on in the mall so i ended up not recording in the mall so actually on my way back home i decided to stop at a big lots and lo and behold i have footage of me going to big lots and finding out my favorite candy like if you guys know me I have a huge sweet tooth i'm always asking you guys like what's your favorite candy like things that you guys like what you don't like um and my favorite candy is now available in stores so you guys can go check it out at big lots and um i'm gonna show you guys the footage right now if you guys were ever a fan of cream savers i finally found them in the big lots here in miami i am so excited because i did not expect to see them <laughs> and they're only one dollar these were like my childhood candies and to see them back in stores is insane I need a plate. Hold on. 
this is like the best news ever so if you guys go to big lots make sure you guys come in and try to find these they're so good and get a lot of them because there's not many in each pack okay like get them so you guys see i am back home i'm chilling i have been editing all day and this vlog's kind of been different than my regular vlog so bear with me on that because just what it is like it's a different day i didn't have much to show in this video but i was like you know what? i'm gonna just show you guys a little bit of other things that I like and I actually was talking about how I didn't get my package from Bath and Body Works and I came home to like this big box and I was like oh maybe that's my package but it said Christmas delivery on there again and I know the regular packages don't say that um and I opened the box and it was a gift from Bath and Body Works again this is like the third gift and I'm like y'all you're spoiling me seriously they sent me a sweatshirt guys a whole sweatshirt this is so cute and it literally says um let me read it it says on the first day of christmas my true love gave to me bath and body works look at that so this is such a nice gift it's so comfy oh my gosh you guys have got to see this check it out check it out thank you so much bath and body works it really means a lot like to know that you guys just see us and appreciate us you know and um it really means a lot and uh this is dope and not even the just the t-shirt guys they actually sent over the new shower gel for their new love line that they came out with with all like the joy the peace and stuff like that i'm trying not to move the camera they sent this shower gel so this one's like the love it's like a champagne uh it's a cotton candy champagne. They sent me the body cream. And they also sent the candle, guys. Look at the candle. Like, I love candles. So, I already was, like, sold when I got the candle. Like, oh, my goodness. And not even. They sent me a whole penguin pocket back. This pocket back, I'm going to have to return the one. Because if you watch my, like, last video, I just purchased one for myself. So, I'm probably going to exchange it for that gingerbread they have a gingerbread man one so i'm probably gonna exchange that one and i'm so grateful and the pocket back inside is the believe in your elf frosted cranberry this is a i love the packaging on this and they sent a diamond shimmer mist this is so dope like this was so cute I like the sweatshirt come on what this is so cool so freaking cool and i'm so excited and um i'm so grateful so thank you so much bath and body works for this like christmas gift um it really means a lot and it says give love this christmas and i definitely feel super loved so thank you so very much and as you guys saw i went to zara if you don't know anything about zara fragrances let me put you on game what's clacking steven um if you don't know that's a tiktok it's so funny so zara fragrances are top tier fire they're amazing i love them but let me tell you so i went to zara not too long ago and there was this fragrance here and someone literally stopped me and pulled me over and was like you got one of the best fragrances in the store so i was like for real i already knew that but you know just to hear someone else say it i was shocked so this is called leather jardin and my friend was even like yo like when you get fragrances from zara they're so bougie when they come out like you don't even know like this is from zara like you would have thought i paid so much money for this and i didn't this was like 25 dollars or something like that leather jardin is like tom ford like okay very tom ford vibes so good this is so nice and honestly it can be unisex for sure i'm gonna tell you something please do not blind by this it smells like leather but it's like boss like this is so bougie boss girl vibes you're gonna go to work you're gonna be feeling yourself this is so 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 good and it's like it's like i would have paid a lot of money for this and it's just affordable so leather jardin i love this oh my gosh it is gorgeous and i was just obsessed so i finally was able to get it in store i was gonna have to order it online because they were sold out but i saw like three boxes left and i picked it up so this was one of my zara pickups and i also got this one which is my scent of the day and if you haven't left your scent of the day down in the comments make sure you do that now my scent of the day is vibrant leather for her i really like leather scents i don't have any leather perfume so these are my first ones um this one is the eau de parfum and this smells really good my mom likes this one a lot better than she likes this one but she doesn't really like tom ford fragrances either so keep that in mind this one is very feminine uh, this has like i feel like some type of floral note as well 
but again i don't have the notes with me so i can't tell you exactly these are the two that i really like now if you ask me about ebony woods which i know is really really popular right now i didn't pick that up because i don't like it like i don't love it and I can't pick up something that I don't love just because it's hype. I'm not going to do that. So I recommend any fragrance from Zara. Even if you hear me talk about it, another person, influencer, whatever. Always smell your fragrances before you buy them. Just because you may not like something that I like. But I mean, that's what I'm here for. To give you options and show you different things. And we're just sharing things with each other. So be mindful of that. But I love these. These are really, really dope. And if you didn't know about them, now you know. So that's pretty much it. I went to Zara, bought my perfumes, had a good time. I did buy some clothes too, but I ain't gonna put that in the video. I'll probably just, you'll probably see on my Instagram when I post in my outfits. And um, yeah, guys, I am just here about to try to get this video up for you guys before it's too late. And I gotta eat. I really want some food. I'm hungry. And this video, like I said, it was just kind of a bunch of stuff like whatever i wanted to show you guys and that's how some of the videos will be sometimes sometimes i don't want to do a sit down video i'll just talk to you guys or show you guys different things um it just depends it's a day in the life with me so thank you guys so much for watching feel free to leave team ash in the comments with a yellow red or blue heart let me know that you watch this far it's super helpful to me and my channel and follow me on instagram at ash220 underscore and tiktok at living ash 20 i'd love to hear from you guys what you guys are buying if you see anything new in the stores always send it to me on ig and i want to share the best comments with you guys in the next video so leave a good comment let me know what your favorite part of the video was leave something funny i don't know make me laugh make me smile do some do some it needs to give what it's supposed to give okay <laughs> whatever i love you guys so very much and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys